Hello again, here we will use JS2Py to execute a string with JavaScript code, then we will translate a JavaScript file into a Python file, and finally we will load a JavaScript file into a variable. To install JS2Py we need to open a PowerShell terminal and type pip install JS2Py, hit enter and successfully installed. Now we can do our code. We go here to the file and the first thing that we need to do is import js to py and now we can do the first exercise execute a js string we declare a code one that is equals to a string and the string is function f that receives a x and will return the result of x plus x okay now we can go here and f is equals to js to py dot evolve underscore JS and we pass the code one the string okay with this we can call this function let's print the result of F passing the number three we open the terminal and we type pi js to pi example dot pi it enter and we got the number six three plus three is six Let's see another example. Let me paste here the code and we have here code 2 that have a function say hi receives a name and it does a console log hi and the name. Okay, then we do exactly the same thing as the previous example. We have here the function say hi and then we use the function with the string Peter. Okay, we open the terminal and type pi js to pi example hit enter and we got here 6 and the uh, hi peter okay let me close this and let's move to the next exercise that is translate a javascript code into a python code and for this example we need a javascript file we have here example.js okay and this file have a variable have a function another function here another function that will be used as an object okay and is just this okay we need to type js to pi dot translate file and we provide the name of js file example dot js and the name of the resulting file let's call it test dot pi for us to be able to use these we need to import from test this file okay that doesn't exist yet because i didn't run the code import everything then we can do something like this test dot say hello one of the functions that are in the file and we pass John let me open these for us to see the file appearing let me open the terminal pi js to pi example it enter a new file was created here test.py and we have here the hello John okay as you can see test.py is a little crazy okay is very confusing but it is python let me close this and hide this and let's comment this and move to the next exercise that is load js into variables okay and for this we need to js to pi dot run underscore file and we provide the example dot js file okay because this function will return a tuple we need to have here something like evol underscore s and a js file that are the result of running this function then we can just js file dot say hello to peter notice one thing here this js file is this variable okay we can run this open the terminal we type pi js to pi example it enter and we have here the hello peter okay now let's test another thing i want to try a more complex example and i will paste here the code this calculator raw js is another file of a very old video of mine about a calculator in javascript okay this doesn't have the interface part is just the part where it calculates 
with the expression that we give. We go here, let me hide these and one thing that I notice here is that at the time of this recording JS2Py doesn't run JavaScript 6 so I had to change a little to be just JavaScript 5. The difference is for example I couldn't use lambda expressions, ok? Let's run this example Py js 2 py example it enter and we have here the result of the calculation is 5. This is the end. If this video helped you, please give it a like. It will help me. Don't forget that you can download the source code. The link is in the description of this video. And as always, thank you for watching.